Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm going to show you how to use Perplexity Collections as agents. Are you watching the right video? Well, do you use Perplexity? Would you like to save time? Would you like to improve your prompts? Then yes. Questions answered in today's video. Perplexity agents or collections, what are they? How do you use them? How do you create them? How do you edit them? I'll provide some examples and then we'll end with the most important question, why should you care? Let's jump right into perplexity.ai. Here we are. What are perplexity agents? They are reusable, refinable, quick access prompts saved as collections. Think of them as pre-prompted chatbots, spring-loaded to respond to whatever it is you need or do over and over again. They allow you to perfect your prompts and save time through streamlined chatbot interactions. But enough talking, let's let's make one, shall we? So I click on library to move to move to the place where I need to create a collection. And here we are, and you'll see up at the top collections. And so I'm going to click on the plus sign to create our first collection. And it's a bit of an experiment, so we're going to see what we get today on live YouTube recording. It's not live, you're, you're watching it recorded, whatever. So here's the title. Uh, we're gonna title it Spanish Proficiency Agent. So give it a meaningful title that helps you when you're looking at it, what is this thing? More meaningful is the icon. Give it a emoji that resonates with you because again, the point here is to be able to create or use these very quickly. And so visuals that resonate with you that make sense, hey, this is what I use this for, Right? Make sure your visual makes sense is all I'm trying to say there. Description. All right. This is where we can get very helpful for future us. So sometimes we'll create tools and a couple days will go by and we'll forget how to use them or exactly how to use them. So there's a lot of space in the descri this description area. So I could have just left it at sp Spanish conversationalist right here, but I went ahead and added steps telling future me, hey, these are the steps that you should follow to use this agent. And you can see that it says type hola, hit enter. So I'm just helping out future me, hey, this, hey, hey dummy, <laughs> this is how this chat bot works. All right, so the prompt. In this instance, we're going to try and create a conversationalist that helps us um, improve or increase or adhere to our current level of Spanish speaking proficiency. And so what have I written here? My name is Josh. When I type hola, you respond with a question in Spanish that someone proficient in Spanish at the Interagency Language Roundtable, or ILR, level one could understand. So speak to me in beginner Spanish. I will then attempt to answer your question in Spanish. You must then respond by critiquing my response using English this time and providing feedback in English to help me improve my Spanish proficiency. I think that's it. So this is our prompt. So we're going to type hola, hit enter, and then it's going to do this if we've done this correctly or if, if what we've done will actually work. I'm going to leave it shareable. You do have the option to leave it secret right here if you wanted to. I share these a lot, so I just often leave them shareable. I'm going to go ahead and crit, crit. <laughs> hit the create button and you can see right over here our Spanish proficiency AI chatbot agent has been created so we're gonna click on it just to kinda of show you how it works here it is and I'm calling this the prompt prompt because we already have a prompt and I'll show you where it's at so over here on the right hand side we have this helpful description Spanish conversationalist and again the steps hey Josh type hola hit enter and then the AI prompt that has been applied is what I just wrote out, and it's right here. And we're, we're gonna go ahead and execute. So, hola, enter. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, como estas? All right, so I need to respond in good Spanish. I'm getting the feedback that I requested. It worked. Uh, I'm just going to be fully transparent with you. Iterations one, two, and three did not work. This is iteration five. Uh, so four and five have worked. Uh, in any event, uh, it just goes to prove that um, 
iterating on your prompts, which is what I did, did to arrive at this, this prompt that works, it proves the point of why I'm creating these things. Anyhow, enough patting myself on the back. We're going to go ahead and move into how we edit these and some other examples. Uh, so use, I've kind of showed how to create and use, use at the same time here. Create, went over that, and then edit. So if I wanted to edit this agent, I just, again, library and then the collection. And at the very top, these three dots right here, edit collection. And then all the fields that I filled out earlier are right here, uh, ready to be edited. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. And if I wanted to delete it, same thing, delete collection. So there you go. There's the soup to nuts. And now I'm going to go over some examples. So if you got what you need, have a nice day. <laughs> if you want to see some examples, hang out. All right. So the first example we're going to use here is another simple one. And I call it the Al Roker. And if you're old like me, you'll this will resonate. And the prompt prompt is the word hi. And so I type the word hi in here. And Al Roker is going to give me the weather. Hello there, Josh. Today in Columbus, the skies have decided to put on a bit of a show with clouds performing their best dance moves across the horizon. Expect a cozy range, blah, 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 blah. Pause your screen and read it if you'd like to. Uh, ended with a great quote by Henry Ward Beecher. Why did this happen? Well, here's what my prompt looks like. So we click on library and we click on the Al Roker prompt and then we can read the AI prompt applied, which is, my name is Josh Evelsizer. I live in Columbus, Ohio. When I enter hello or hi, respond with the weather forecast for today, the high and low temperatures, and the next day that I'm likely to see sunshine because I live in Columbus, Ohio and it's winter time. Provide this information in a fun and whimsical manner and with a famous quote that is related to all the preceding information. So that's why you saw what you saw. And again, just like all the other agents that I've created or showed you thus far, uh, I gave future Josh some instructions to remind, my, to remind me how to use this. So I call it weather and wisdom and then type high, hit enter to make it work. And that's what we did. All right, so now we're going to take a step forward into a little bit more of an advanced prompt, sorry, agent. And this one, and I keep moving, I'll just stay over here for a minute. Uh, video brainstorming. So you may have seen me use an example like this before with Bard, now Gemini. Uh, similar, but it works just a little bit better here, and I'll show you why. Video brainstorming. Okay, so the description, generate, a video, generate video ideas based on a given topic. And the instructions from past me to future me here is enter topic, hit enter. Everything else you see there is a cheat sheet for this video, so just ignore that. All right, so we're going to enter a topic and then hit enter. And I've not shown you the AI prompt. That would be helpful. Um, so this is rather lengthy. Um, the gist here is take on the persona, and I'll just read it quickly. And I will let you know all the prompts I've used here they're in the Google Doc you saw at the beginning of the video, which is linked in the video description below. Take on the persona of an efficiency-focused productivity expert and enthusiast who, through the creation of YouTube videos, enjoys teaching others how to employ simple technology, processes, and habits to maximize efficiency and effectiveness and make life a little or a lot easier whenever possible. Your videos focus on helping people use technology and processes to complete knowledge work-related tasks most efficiently and effectively. So it's a little bit about me and my approach. Then the structure of the video, which is the what is it, how does it work, the so what, with descriptions about all of those, and then your role, me telling the AI agent, or, or chatbot rather, your role. So your role is to produce an outline using the script formula from above, using the app, and any associated processes, techniques, or habits that I, and we can't read it because the screen is zoomed in too much, provide to you. So there you go. It's a big prompt. And the whole point here is I can come back and refine this over time to get it dialed in to give me exactly the results that I need. And I can continue to reuse it over and over again. And we'll show you how that works. So we've got this thing teed up. I've got a prompt for it. Here it is. The first prompt is perplexity collections as quick access prompts. So kind of meta, of course. And we hit enter and see what it gives us. I need help. Give me some ideas. What do you got? All right. So here's the what is it. 
Here's the how does it work. And I'm often most interested in the examples that it's going to give me. Some real world examples. These can often be very helpful. Sometimes they're not at all. And what's really cool here is when all of this is said and done, we can use the rewrite function to get a different answer from a different chatbot. Unfortunately, this is only available in pro mode. And so as soon as this is done providing this example, I'll show you how the rewrite function works for us. And since this is taking, man, this really comprehensive this time. All right, I think we're almost at the end. There we go. If I didn't like this, I could just jump in here and move to the rewrite function. So the default is Copilot. I'm going to go smaller here. And with Pro, I have access to experimental GPT-4, Claude, and Gemini Pro. So I could ask it to rewrite. Hopefully you get the idea. I just select one of those and it's going to rewrite this answer uh, using one of those different chatbots, which is really cool. Or, or I guess what I want to also make sure I have shared with you, the whole point, one of the whole points of this is that we can continue to reuse this same prompt over and over again without bumping into any concerns related to tokens or context window. So you see here I click library and then I come over here back to video brainstorming and I can start a new. And then if we scroll down, we can see the last thread that I was on. So I can either start a new here or I can click any of the last threads and I can simply select the edit query function and if I didn't like the way this answer, or I didn't like the answer that was provided here, so I asked it, perplexity collections as quick access prompts. I could tweak that question to say, perplexity collections as prompts to reuse and refine. Like it didn't pick up on what I was trying to, trying to do. And then I hit enter, and of course I'm going to get a, a rewritten thread uh, based on this new prompt. I'm not going to wait for this to go through its whole spiel there. Um, what I also want to highlight, when I click on the agent or the collection, and I click on one of these threads down here, up here I have the opportunity to rename that. So if I wanted to save it, I could call this um, maybe the one I liked. Uh, click anywhere or enter, and it saves it. And so now it's over here, accessible in the library, and you can move right to that answer each time. All right, so I hit the rewrite function and the edit query function, and I talked about just starting over as it relates to reusing the same prompt over and over again. I want to give you one more example. Let's say you are a business or data analyst and you're dealing with statistics, metrics. You kind of, let's say you're, you're generally, you have a lot of data sets and you approach them in a similar way over and over again. This is, this is, this is, this is this example, all right? So I'm just gonna read this stuff because it gets a little bit meaty, um, but here it is. So initial descriptive statistics on the variables. And here is the description. Initial descriptive statistics on the variables, and then in parentheses, mean, median, min, max, quantiles, and a visualization of the distributions of key variables. Uh, and then so the steps reminding me are upload the CSV, hit enter. Uh, and then we're going to use the experimental model, and I'm going to focus on political leanings. So here we go. We're going to upload a CSV, fi CSV file. It's got to be a CSV. Here it is. Attach. There it is. So this is brewery data by state and their political leanings. And so like I said, I want to focus on... If I didn't have something for it to focus on, I could just call it brewery data. And because we have to type something, right? It's the prompt prompt because we've already prompted it down here, which I didn't cover. So we'll do that now. Provide the following initial descriptive statistics on the variables, including mean, median, min, max, quantiles, and any other statistics that would assist to better understand this data set. And the second piece, a visual visualization of the distributions of key variables. The so what here is, again, I analyze data all, all day long. I'm making this up. 
And I do the same three steps when I get a data set. And so by plugging these in as agents, all I have to do is upload this CSV file, enter what I want it to focus on, if I want it to focus at all, or just give it a name, and then hit enter. Now, it by default, it's going to give me GP, a result from GPT-4. And so as soon as this as soon as this is done, we're going to pretend um, that the experimental model gives us results that we like better. So you can see here GPT-4 is the default. And so in the rewrite function, I just come to the experimental. And you can see here, it would be a little tedious to read through the stuff that it's giving us, but this has tended to be provide better results. And so there you go. Dealing with data, hopefully you can see how a agent could save you time to start parsing the data in ways that maybe you are used to chopping it up very quickly when you begin with a data set. In any event, three hopefully different enough examples to help you see how a, I almost said BART agent, a perplexity agent or collection uh, helps you use and reuse quick access prompts and save time. Uh, reuse and reuse and refine to get superior results. All right, as I promised before, uh, why should you care or the why should you use a perplexity collection? I lost my <laughs> my spot on my keyboard. Sorry. Save time by streamlining your chatbot interactions and reusing, refining, and perfecting your most often used prompts to get better and better results. So anytime you find yourself rewriting a prompt you've written at least once before or taking the time to craft a really great prompt, pause, copy it, and save it as a collection. Why? Well, it's just like a bridge. Build it once and benefit forever. Thank you for watching. If I have inspired you to try this, please let me know in the comments down below. Of course, please don't forget, link to goodness in the description down below. Please like, subscribe, share this with somebody else that might find it useful or enjoy it. As always, if you leave questions, I will absolutely leave answers. Now please go and be productive.